This is a quite simple mechanical jam. All you have to do is take away the bottom three screws here. I'm just going to see if I can manage to do this. No, I have the wrong screwdriver actually. I'm going to need a better one. I'm going to need this one. So like this, and you take away the bottom three screws. I, if I can manage to... There we have it. So you take away the bottom three screws, make sure you don't lose them. And I'm just going to have to find a place to put them. I'm just going to do like that, put it in the lens cap. I'm going to take away the second here. And once we get it open, Takes can take a little while to get it to release like this. Let's see here. Here you have the forwarding movement of the the winder, which essentially is the thing that moves. And this here is a little lever. You can see this silvery bit here. When I wind it it gets caught on the wheel so you can't forward it uh, and that is uh, to make sure that you cannot do a double forward until you expose the frame and this little lever sometimes gets caught up and all you have to do by then is push it away and see if you can try and wind the lever uh, that's a quite simple fix and all you do is you take a little screwdriver and you just push it out and try to forward it and in that case you should probably be able to forward and shoot again but make sure uh, to shoot it if you don't have any batteries in it make sure to shoot it in the M90 position because otherwise it will uh, probably uh, there is a risk of it getting jammed up again so but when you have batteries in it uh, you're all good to shoot on all the exposures later after that so this was just a little quick explanation on how to fix the the uh, wind, the uh, locked up film winding and uh, co shutter cocking mechanism here. So uh, that's just a little help for you. And then you just replace all the screws and do it in the reverse order. So I hope it helped.